Hello friends, have you ever noticed this error message while working in an Adobe Photoshop? Scratch this fool. So annoying. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how we can get rid of that and at the same time, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can clean up junk files from your systems and make it one, you are going to create more disk space and secondly, your system is going to be free and thirdly, your system is going to work more efficiently and is going to be fast. So this is Twisted Creative, Alari Bivani is my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. So here is my Photoshop. If I happen to click on this image here, it's a very large file. So if I try opening it now, you're going to see what it's going to tell us. Okay, could not open. This is the name of the file. Then, because the scratch disks are full, scratch disks are full. There are different ways you find solution to this. Let's hit OK. You can click on Edit, then go all the way down to Preferences, then go to Scratch Disks. Then, if you open this port, you notice that we have number one as E and number two as C. The reason why we open this dialog box is that we want to know where these files are located. Okay, look at the drive here. We have drive E and drive C. Then look at free space here. Free space. We have 6 gig on E. Then we have 169 on C. Okay, what I see about this thing now is that you can switch to your C drive so as to continue your work. But if there is no other drive and you want to continue your, your job, solution number one is that you can go to this E drive where these files are stored. Then you delete some of your files that is no longer in use. This is E drive. It's filled up as you can see. Then if you open this E drive now, you notice that you have a lot of things here. The first solution is that you can check for those things you are no longer using and delete them. Look at the Photoshop file. It's just one single file. But if you take a look at it's having 15.2 gig, it's just a single file. Why is it a single file? Because we've not started doing other things. We're just about to start before this error message come up. You can use your shift delete to delete this stuff. Shift delete to delete. It's going to ask if you want to permanently delete this file. Then you can say yes. Sometimes it will not be able to delete because it's still in Photoshop. As long as you click that file, is still working in Photoshop and Photoshop is still on. Had it been you taking a lot of steps, like hundreds of steps, thousands of steps, and this happened, you can delete those files created. But now you've not even done anything, it's filled up. That means the Photoshop does not have enough space to run. So the solution to this problem is for you to go and check your files and see what you are no longer using the jobs that you are done with, you can transfer them to other hard drive and create more space for your system to run very well. Let's cancel this. Let's cancel this. Then the second solution is that let's open our Photoshop. So this is a Photoshop. Now, if you take a look, we have E drive and C drive. So if you take a look at the E drive, now we have 6 gig remaining, which is free space, 170 gig remaining that's in free space for C drive. So we have to switch. You can switch and at the same time you can you can switch and at the same time you can add so let's say if we should add let's add this c drive to it if you add it's allowed then you can also remove this e from the selection then go with just c you can go with just c and at the same time you can see select both of them and hit ok so let's see if it's able to run we click on the same image to see if it's going to open Let's see. This is a large file that has refused to open. It has opened now because the C has a lot of space that we can run with. There are so many reasons why we are not going to stop this tutorial here. If you start noticing this scratch disk full, that means your system is no longer having enough space. That must be the reason why it is happening. For us to put a stop to that for the meantime, why I say for the meantime, there will still come a day, even if you clear the entire system and continue working without the same system, there will still come a day when the system will be filled up and it's going to request this stuff again. So the conclusion to this is that we need more space in our computer. So how do we achieve more space after deleting that of Photoshop? The reason why this information is coming up is that we need more space. Photoshop is telling you that you need more space to work with in your computer.
if we check all our files and we don't see anything that we can delete or maybe after deleting everything copying all your files to another system you still can't find what is blocking your space let's go ahead and go to the next stage which is going to be how to clean cache and junks in our system okay let's leave photoshop and you can go to search bar like this and can type in run r-o-u-n run then you see run system here you can click on it this is what you get you can hold your windows and press arrow is it going to bring out the same thing for you once you hold your windows and press arrow you notice that we have something that will pop up which is run you will type in temp t e m p then you hit ok look at what you find in temp so all these files are files that have been saved without you knowing yeah, look okay let's just select one and use our control a to select all then we're going to right click on them and look for the properties so this is this is the properties we have 384 mb this is mb okay let's hit okay then with all this selected like this you can use your shift delete shift hold your shift down and push your delete and it's going to ask if you are sure you are permanently deleting this file is totally is totally safe to delete all these files so if you delete them if you click yes it's going to try deleting all but if the system is not able to delete all that means some of them are still running they are still in use while you are using the computer so what all you have to do is that click on do this to all current items then you click on continue then you you click again and do the same thing so okay it's done so then we'll go to search by again you can hold your windows down and press arrow then you have this stuff again then this time around you are going to type in prefetch so you type in prefetch you hit ok so it's going to ask for permission then you click continue click on one use your control a to select all then you can look for the property and check how many megabytes here we have we have 4.7 megabytes it's not it's not a large file anyway because it's not been long then you can still delete hold your shift down and press delete then you hit yes so most of those files that are still in use will not be deleted so you can skip that or uh, and it's gone so we close this and you use your window arrow again you type in percentage with shift held down then press 5 then you have percentage then type in temp again temp and you add another percentage with shift 5 so you can hit ok for 10 percent temp then you select one of these then use your control use your control a to select all then you can right click and check the properties and see how many gig you have there so we just have 531 mb here if you've not done all this for a very long time you'll notice you have almost 100 and something gigs 200 gig or something like that so this is because i've been doing this always i do it always to keep my systems free so i hit okay this is 531 mb then you hit okay then all these things being removed will make your system will create more space if you have okay let's assume we have uh, like 120 gig from here if you delete these stuffs here you delete everything here that means you are going to be having extra 160 gig or thereabouts hold our shift down and push delete it's going to ask if you are permanently deleting you can say yes because it's safe to delete them then you see ask if you are if you need a uh, permission you need permission for this you click continue and it will delete so after deleting you continue your job so it's showing the action can't be can't be it's showing that the action can't be completed because the files are open in adobe ipc broken whatever so we have to click do this to all files and skip so these remaining ones are those that are active they are still working guys this is not just for photoshop users 
if you are a photo editor, video editor, as long as you are making use of computer, this is the way to go to clear space, to create more space, and to make your system run very fast. If you, if you check the C drive now, notice I will have just few megabytes recovered from the stuff. But if you have not done this for a very long time, like I said earlier, you are going to free up your space up to like 100 gig, 200 gig, 120 gig or thereabouts. So you have to try your system and see what you have in there. So that is it. The next thing we're going to try now, we're going to use our window arrow. We are going to type in clean MG arrow. MG arrow. Then we're going to hit OK. Then it's going to show, select the drive that you want to clean up. Then we we'll have C selected, then we'll hit OK. So look at what we have here. We have to tick all these lines, window error report, uh, directory. And if you click OK, it will ask if you're sure you want to permanently delete these files. Then you click delete files, then it will start deleting. So guys, after removing all this junk file from your system, you notice that your system is going to be very, very free. You're going to have more space and you're going to, your system is going to work like new one. Then your system is going to be more efficient and, and it's going to be fast. Hope we learned something today. That is it for this tutorial. If you find it interesting, helpful and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it has not and the area we need to improve on. So like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative people, keep on creating. Keep on creating. See you in the next one. Bye for now.